Good morning, Mazio here, and today we'll be talking about the failures of alt tech because alt tech is failing. Anyway, so uh, grab yourself some coffee, sit back, relax, and uh, let's get into it, shall we? So in front of me right now, we're looking at Parlor. Um, I don't even know if I'm allowed to say anything about Parlor, to be totally honest. I guess we'll 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 figure it out if YouTube actually you know takes it down or something. Anyway, <laughs> um, point is we're we're talking about alt tech today, right? You know we we've talked about alt tech in the past. I've done things with the Grillcast with Nathan Sifu, and we've talked about alt tech. On various uh, at various times giving our various opinions of different platforms that we have used and gone through and done stuff and um, you know I've been thinking about it a lot of course I was talking with a uh, d-pad chat about all this you know throughout the time throughout months and months of worth you know just talking about alt tech and the benefits versus you know yeah and anything else right and you know not to say that alt tech doesn't have any kind of particular benefits to it because it does the problem is alt tech has been failing and uh, i know a lot of people don't want to hear about that but it has and the worst part is a lot of these uh, you know spots these these areas these locations can see it coming before it happens and chooses not to do anything which is why we're looking at parlor right here right this one here is probably the uh Probably the worst one when it comes to could have seen it coming, should have seen it coming, did not take action until after the fact, and they got completely nuked off of the interwebs, right? So if you're, you've clicked on this, you probably know about, you know, the whole, essentially the, the war on big tech, right? You know, the, the idea that big tech is, you know, censoring people. Um, now, uh, there's, of course, things on, say, the YouTubes I can't say, but can say it over on, say, Fruit Labs or on BitChute or Utreon or MeWe or something like that, or, you know, that I can actually say. Meanwhile, there are terms and things that I can't say over on YouTube because YouTube will, naturally, it censors it. It is the big tech, that and Facebook and Twitter and Twitch. Those are the big four players when it comes to the space, essentially, that all these other companies are trying to get into. Um, the thing is, of course, these companies can see it coming and do nothing about it, and then they get nuked. Um, again, we're going with Parler as my prime example here. What, what, what was Parler's biggest sin that required their annexation off the interwebs? Apparently, according to Big Tech, they were fundamental, you know, in the, uh, whole what was it, January 7th, January 6th, whatever, the whole marching on to Congress, whatever, in D.C. that I can't even think of because it was such a non-thing <laughs> that it really doesn't matter to me compared to say, yeah, we're going to have to get political because unfortunately that's just the style of alt tech versus new, you know, old tech and legacy media versus new media and things like that. Unfortunately, it thri it, its only existence is currently in the political realm, so I do apologize. You know, compared to, say, the riots that have been happening in various cities throughout our country, um, you know, that have been happening for months on end, and then they want to go and say, oh, this this is the most d domestic, worst domestic terrorist attack since 9-11 or, or something like that. And it's just like, what the are you talking about? Anyway, they apparently went on and said, you know, Parler was the reason for it, right? They gathered on Parler. However, the problem is Parler doesn't have that functionality, right? And then, of course, it came out after Parler got nuked, like right after Parler got nuked, that no, actually, they all communicated on Facebook, and then, you know, that came out and everyone was like, yeah, we're just going to drop it right there and never talk about it again. And, uh, you know, it's just one of those really like it's in your face and I can't figure out how people are so dumb. They can't figure it out. Right. It's like it's it's in your face. They're telling you exactly what's going on. 
and you can't figure out and they can't seem to see it right they're just like no 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 they they have the best interest in mind and all this other stuff so parlor gets snooped right because parlor is using what the, the amazon servers and stuff right there so you know when you got other companies coming out and saying no we need to limit parlor because they're causing people to do this stupid thing that didn't actually wasn't actually done on parlor it was done on another site but we're going to blame parlor why are we blaming parlor because at the same time, there was a great annexing of people from Twitter, and they were moving to Parler at the time. Gab itself was having its own issues. It was constantly down. Heck, I tried to make a Gab account myself and couldn't make a Gab account because it was constantly down. It seems to be up now. It seems to be working now that that whole thing is, is over with and stuff, but I don't have a Gab. Anyway, <laughs> um... You know, so then Parler got nuked. They got removed from their servers, which is something that Parler should have saw coming because of what happened to Gab, right? Uh, we also saw other things. We've got um, Mines. Mines, of course, is another uh, thing right here that we're going to bring up real quick. But it, too, has been essentially neutered, right? And um, it got neutered as in the app can't do things now. You know, you can't do... Uh, comments you can't look at stuff um you know you you can't actually look at comments and you can't really comment back and essentially unless you're on a browser so you have to open it through your cell phone's browser in order to actually access it it's completely neutered and um you know the problem is of course since these things are on particular stores like the apple store or the google store they have to follow by those rules the only problem is of course the other companies, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and stuff like that, don't have to play by those exact rules at all. These are rules for a certain group of, of sites, which, of course, are going to require essentially um, lawsuits, lawsuits that they can't fight, right? You know, Mines is going to have to go up and fight Facebook for their right to have an app on the Google Store and the Apple Store that you can actually check your messages with you know you can actually check your comments and read them and comment back in real time because facebook can do it mines however cannot why purely political means that's it that's the only reason why they can't do it you know when it came to parlor parlor was the fastest growing app at the time uh compared to twitter who was losing tons and tons of people so they naturally they nuked it before that of course was gab gab was gaining a lot of tractions it got nuked um and of course you know as far as i can tell parlor's just not been anywhere where it should be anyway um you know the app for me stopped working finally i guess a month or so ago and i just hadn't logged back in until today to see if it was even up <laughs> but it's it's got nothing now because it was down for so long and everybody didn't just stop using it because there's nothing else to use but the main places youtube twitter facebook and that's that's your only choices then of course you've got other things like bit shoot bit shoot's not bad i do enjoy bit shoot but bit shoot has a lot of issues on the back end when it comes to uploading uh you know the reason i stopped uploading onto bit shoot is because i couldn't get my things to process or if it did process uh you know sometimes it would get into this thing where i'll upload several things and then go to release it and then when it releases it's it's not what it was right i upload a 10 minute video and excuse me sorry a, a 10 minute video and the next thing i know there's an hour and a half documentary on uh the hollow earth theory or whatever in its place when it goes live yeah it's an issue <laughs> So, you know, the only other thing, of course, you know, right now, I guess, is BitChute, because uh, I can't remember how how they're actually running their back end, if it was uncentralized or not. Uh, anyway, the point is, you know, they have an issue with their uploader, of course, which is my my issue with this. Me, we feels kind of Chinese, if you ask me. I don't really know how I feel about this one. It, it seems really, really weird. Um but you know you, you've got a lot of these sites the the main issues of course with some of these like for instance my current favorite to use right now is being fruit labs and if you haven't subscribed to the krillcast you should go ahead and check them out right now uh, you can find them on youtube and fruit labs among other places as well um 
And of course, from Nathan Sifu as well, wow, as well, and uh, D Pad Chad, who is now on YouTube, I believe, who's uh, making his way over, so you can go check him out as well. Uh, but you no, know, seriously, you, you look at this, and this is powered by what is it? The Amazon servers, right? They've got a thing through Amazon to power their site, and as long as Fruit Lab sticks to the game, which has an app, by the way, um, you know that you can download onto the thing, as long as Fruit Labs, of course, plays by the rules that Big Tech has set and does not start to encroach on their numbers, essentially, does not grow as big or, or, or big enough to get, you know, Big Tech to look at them and go, whoa, wait a second, uh, maybe we should do something about this. You know, as long as Fruit Lab continues to stay where it is and doesn't, you know, grow too much or get out of hand for Big Tech's liking, Fruit Lab will be around. However, because they are powered by the Amazon thing, just like that, they can Thanos snap them out of existence and they will sit there and cite um, hate speech. They will cite... Um, you know, political dis dissidents they will, the, of some kind, um, you know, uh, white nationalist or white supremacist or something like that, right? You know, they will cite something that is politically, you know, a thing in order to shut it down, of course, which will completely nuke the site from existence, which is what happened to Parler. They were running on the same software, and a lot of these companies, a lot of these old tech, uh, you know, locations do that. They run off those servers, and, you know, it's nice to have things where they've, you, you've got it mirrored to other sites, just in case, you know, the big, big hammer comes down onto your primary thing and all, but for the most part, alt tech has failed until they build their own thing that's the sad part they have to build their own thing they've got to have their own interwebs they've got to have their own servers they have got to do their own thing unfortunately if they're going to actually topple big tech because right now everything is stacked against their favor and it's sad it's it's a horrible thing we can see it in real time and the fact that you can see it in real time but you know the, the way things go in, say, the legal side of things and stuff, and the fact that, you know, our, our legal system is usually 10 years uh, behind the technology and stuff, it just really, really sucks to see it, I guess is the best, is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, let me know what you think down in the comments below, and I will talk to you later. See you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment, smash that like button, and always subscribe for more. And, of course, there are other videos floating around somewhere on the screen, so click one of those and see if you can find something that uh, suits your fancy. Till then, I'll see you later. Bye.